Hi, I'm Andrew Muschietti uh, with Google Cloud's Healthcare and Life Sciences team. And want to talk to you today about a couple of the tools that we've got helping to support uh, some of the open work here, uh, such as Variant Transforms, which is an ETL tool for importing uh, VCFs into BigQuery to facilitate uh, data analysis. So if you're not familiar, BigQuery's are scalable uh, data warehouse. The main thing I want to point out about that, I think most people have dealt with this before, but one of the changes in the last year is we now support individual regions for BigQuery. So it used to be a multi-region thing, like it would only run in the EU or the US. Uh, and you can actually get that down to a data center level now. So if you have a country where you need to maintain data residency, such as in Netherlands, Belgium, Japan, uh, you can specify those individually uh, and keep your data there. So it does support standard SQL as well uh, to do that analysis. And so we'll take a look here at some of the stuff that uh, Variant Transforms has. So Variant Transforms is, uh, is written uh, with the Apache Beam SDK. Uh, this is a, a version of it running right here in Dataflow, which is our managed Beam service. Uh, but looking at this, this import here uh, is the 2,500 or so samples of 1,000 genomes and about 360 million variants. About 100 days of compute time running that here in about two hours. And so this, you can see where the graph flattens out there. Uh, that's the, the number of workers I've assigned. So I've capped the workers at 400 for this experiment. Uh, but obviously, that could, could be adjusted as needed in, in the configuration. So primarily, I want to focus today on some of the things that we've added since last year when we had first presented about this. So the first being some of the additional support we've done for annotations. So the first of that is supporting new annotation sources. So an example of this, we've done some work with Genomenon in the past year to bring their mastermind cited variance reference. Uh, and they're actually using variant transforms to do the import of their annotations into a public data set that they then make available. So in addition to using variant transforms to just import your own variants, uh, we can also use it to help support uh, bringing annotations in if you have uh, annotation sources that you want to make available as well to other people. And then improving the support for uh, annotating existing data sets. So if you've got an already existing data set, we've improved that performance about 10 times within the past year. So doing a VEP annotation on the Illumina Platin genomes now runs in just over an hour. The next is BGZF support. Uh, so you know, obviously a lot of reasons that we would want to compress VCF files. I think everyone's familiar with that. The downside of that when we're importing them is that we couldn't import a compressed file without, or we couldn't shard that import until it had been decompressed first. So while the size was great, the runtime was not very practical with a, a gzip file. Supporting BGZFs now, we can keep a similar file size and actually shard that import as we read the individual blocks and get that runtime of an import down to be on the same order there of around an hour. Uh, and the example here is with uh, the Nomad whole genome, so 261 million variants, uh, and the 23 files for the chromosomes there. Uh, and the last part I want to highlight on is the, some of the containerization work that we've done. So we've removed the dependency with Google Cloud's Pipelines API, although you can still use that if you want. Uh, but we now actually package it as a container uh, with the binary and all of the dependencies pre-installed there. Uh, we make it available at the repository listed here, but you can also pull the code from GitHub if you want to build it yourself, uh, and then go ahead and run variant transforms wherever you'd like. And last, a couple of the changes, uh, just a preview of some of the stuff we're still working on. So we're working with prototyping some new schemas. So as we start to deal with running things like joint genotyping on the order of 50 to 100,000 samples, the current schema is not quite adequate, so we are doing some work there with a number of, of partners in the space as well to come up with new options. Uh, working on updating our parsing libraries as well to go ahead and get some performance improvements out of that. Uh, and then continuing our work with third-party annotations, so whether that's uh, annotating existing data sets or if you're an annotation provider, uh, finding ways that you can use to make that available as well. So thank you very much.